Hey everyone, Blaze Raider here again. Uh, today I had this idea to test out uh, my way to do facial mo motion capture with Blender and the new tracking, or well, was new, tracking system. And here is the result after one and a half hours. So I've got these um, individual markers on my face here and I've used Blender to track those markers and apply the motion to the, uh, the face model here. Don't mind the funky uh, face paint I've got here, it's just for testing purposes. <laughs> so you can see there's some issues with the mouth here, but this is just after one and a half hours of work and not refining the weighting of the, the mesh at all. Mainly just um, trying to get the system to work. So I'll show you how that's uh, working now. So on this um, this head model here, I have a mesh deform modifier and just a subsurf uh, modifier to smooth that out. And if I go to if I unhide everything here, you can see this um, this, this cage that I've got here, uh, and that on this layer, I'll show you this. So, this has um, hooks applied to each vertice here, which is uh, tracked. So, we've got 28 of them. There's 28 tracked um, markers here. And each uh, of those tracked markers' uh, vertices are uh, um, moved around by the, the actual tracking data. So, you can see those are the, if I go to camera, the camera view here. So, these empties follow the track. And so, they've have been constrained to do so by by using the, the tracking system here and each one of these vertices um, controls uh, not vertices sorry each one of these empties yeah so let's just take this one for example um, has its uh, movement applied to this vertice so just above it you might notice that they're a bit out of place when I go into edit mode, that's because um, the hooks aren't applied. Uh, actually, they're not active while I'm in edit, edit mode. So this is a hook. So this um, controls the movement of this vertice as well while it's in, um, as a mesh object. So as that those uh, hooks deform this object here, so the mesh of this object, you can see it's following my uh, facial movements here. So as that moves around, it all that movement is also applied to my face here. Now this is just really rough. You can see there's a lot of issues going on here. It's not even merely accurate. The eyebrows and stuff they look okay-ish, but the mouth area and the nose requires a lot of movement. Now take into account also that my head is not completely stabilized. I did try to stabilize the footage, as you can see here's the. Uh, I had the original footage here, it must have gone after I saved the file or something. But you can see um, that the footage is not stable, my head is not completely stable. Uh, I've tried to stabilize it, I told you already, uh, the background is moving. But my head is still slightly moving up and down, you can see from my, my facial region here. And that also applies. Now we have some weird movements here, and if I go to just a side view here, you can see my chin is not moving the way it should be. Now this is a problem with the the, me the mesh deform uh, modifier. If this um, this head model here, or let's just say, yeah, the head model here, if this had a correct um, armature with a bone system and everything like that, so one bone for each uh, track here and then it was weighted correctly so you would weight let's say this whole area for this marker sorry this whole chin area for this marker so that as that marker does move it, it will move the whole jaw up and down so that way the system would work much better but I couldn't be bothered going through all that uh, armature making and skinning and everything like that. 
I just wanted to test something quick. I just had on my mind, thought of it earlier in the day while I was out shopping. And uh, yeah, so here is the system applied. Uh, this might, I hope this uh, actually does inspire some people to take this further. So maybe perhaps a, a head mounted camera like, like the ones used in the Avatar and one of the more recent movies. So that all the head, um, head movement is isolated just to the face. And also a proper um, bone setup with, arm, with a armature setup with bones and some appropriate skinning. So there you go, it's just a quick um, facial motion capture test. I hope you're inspired to try something like this as well. It, it is a bit tedious to set it all up, but you have to really know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching this. Uh, have a good day.